Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to see about how radiation affects the satellites. Okay, we, uh, with respect to the orbital path. Okay, so if we observe the globe, okay, so there will be several elliptical paths around the globe or the Earth. Okay, in these elliptical paths, there are several multiple satellites which will be keep on moving. Okay, these. elliptical paths can also be called as an or orbits okay so in this particular orbits all the satellites will be moving and will be uh, communicating with the earth stations right okay so even though the satellites are moving in space in the orbital paths they also experiences radiation okay so how uh, at what distance the satellite gets affected with the radiation we are going to see now okay now let us assume there is a globe okay and this globe is surrounded by several uh, orbits and these orbits are having multiple or uh, many uh, satellites which are keep on revolving around the globe or the earth okay for uh, communication purpose okay now uh, there are two types of belts okay so here comes the concept called uh, van allen radiation belts okay so there are two types of belts one is inner van allen belt and another one is outer van allen belt okay these are the two layers or we can also call it as two belts which are formed around the earth which will be keep on affecting the satellites which are moving in the orbital space okay so if you see here there is a globe okay and this globe will be surrounded by several orbits and orbits will be having uh, the satellites which are keep on revolving around this particular globe or earth for the communication purpose okay now even these particular satellites which are moving in the orbital space will also affected by the radiation how means there will be having two radiation belts okay so as i have already said that is defined as the van allen radiation belts okay so we have two types of van allen radiation belts one is inner van allen belt radiation belt another one is outer van allen radiation belt okay so the belt which is nearer to the it can be a force the belt which is nearer to the earth is considered as inner van allen radiation belt okay and the belt which is far away from the earth this one is called as outer van allen radiation belt okay now how much close is this particular inner van allen belt and how much far is this particular outer van allen belt means okay so the inner van allen belt is 1500 kilometers distance from the earth okay so the inner van allen belt is at a distance of 1500 kilometers from the earth okay and coming to the outer van allen radiation belt it is somewhat around 15000 kilometers away from the earth 15000 kilometers away from the earth okay so the satellites which are above inner van allen belt okay so the satellites which are nearer to the inner van allen belt are most likely to get affected by the radiation okay so in the space from where this radiation is coming this radiation is uh, produced by the sun okay so the satellites which are nearer to the inner van allen radiation belt okay is affected due to the sun radiation we can also call it as sun radiation effect okay the satellites which are nearer to this particular belts uh, uh to the inner van allen uh, belt okay they are most likely to get affected by the radiation and these belts or the radiation bands are are produced by the sun rays okay due to the sun there is a huge radiation affecting this particular surroundings of the earth 
the surroundings of the earth is uh, nothing but we can consider it as inner van allen belt okay and there will be two types of welds okay the belt radiation belt uh, or the radiation region which is affected by the uh, surroundings of the earth can be considered as inner van allen belt and if the radiation belt is far away from the earth which is far away from the earth is considered as the outer van allen radiation belt okay now which satellites are affecting more the satellites which are nearer to the a uh, globe that means which belt is there inner van allen belt is near the globe right or the earth right so uh, the radiation the satellites get affected okay due to the inner van allen radiation belt and these particular belts radiation belts are produced by the sun radiation okay so as i have already said satellites in the equatorial orbit so so equatorial orbits means the satellites which are moving around the equatorial plane like this okay are most likely to get affected by the radiation of inner van allen belt okay so if at all those satellites get affected by the radiation produced by the sun what happens the performance of the satellites gets reduced performance means all the computers or the uh, uh, system units okay or the subsystems or several uh, uh, mechanical or uh, electrical and electronic components of the satellites get affected uh, which uh, uh, affects the lifespan of the satellite and also there will be loss of communication system this is what happens if the satellites gets prone to radiation and this radiation is due to the inner van allen radiation belt okay and we have two types of allen uh, radiation belts inner van which is nearer to the earth outer van allen radiation belt which is far away from the earth okay so one is with respect to 1500 kilometers from the earth and one is with respect to 15000 kilometers from the earth all the radiation is produced due to the sun radiation okay, or the sun effect if uh, the satellites get affected by the uh, radiation what happens means all the parts of the satellite gets affected which help uh, which leads to the uh, uh, low satellite performance or the wear and tear of the uh, satellite operations okay so this is how the radiation is getting affected uh, to the uh, satellites which are moving in the equatorial uh, path okay thank you mm -hmm.